How's it going? What is up? What is new? It has been a hot minute since I talked in front of the camera and it's still awkward and weird as ever to this day. But regardless, to my loyal subscribers, thank you for sticking around. Even when I just post videos and I'm not talking, maybe it is that you stick around for the videos where I'm not talking because I can be quite annoying when I'm talking for some. Um, so big update, I've been a little bit MIA, I've been busy, I don't want to come up with excuses, but it has been hectic, I've had a job promotion, I went to Perth, it is dry season in Broome and we had a lot of visitors come in, but we are moving into wet season, it is getting really humid and it is getting really hot, but the great thing about wet season is that the town becomes really quiet, nobody wants to visit you because it's stinking hot, but it means more time in my aircon doing art and filming for you guys and preoccupying my time with this. So, and I'm coming on today to tell you about my earrings. So, you may previously know that I have made these Kimberly Desert Meets the Sea earrings before out of polymer clay, but I have not yet posted a sort of tutorial slash how I do it. So I have a talk over for you guys on how I make these. Uh, yeah, kind of a big deal because I haven't yet done a video on it and I've made them a few times now. There's been a big break since I made them last, to be honest. My job as a social worker pre, during and post COVID has been hectic, so hectic. Um, it is still really hectic. Uh, anyway, so before I lead you into the video, let me tell you that I have 24 unique original pa pairs of these Desert Meets the Sea Kimberly inspired earrings, hand -made, hand made by me. There are only 24 pairs. So once they are gone, they are gone, and I do not know when I'll be making them next because they take a long time, to be honest. But anyway, free shipping within Australia and um, just in time for Christmas. So you kind of want to order like now, and then you'll get them early, early before Christmas, and we don't have to worry about any COVID postage delays because we've got it in early. Yes. Yes. And um, so I've got them all in this box here. Let's see if we do a little closer. Booty boo. Ooh, I don't want to like hold it up too high because they will all slide out and they are very delicate clay pieces. And um, regardless, they are all on my website for you to view. You can view each individual one because I uploaded each individual pair, including earrings. So um, you will see me wearing this is the largest pair. Uh, we also have my earrings, which I only have, I only have a few of these. Um, four, four to be exact, and then I have my smaller stud. Uh, I have the smaller size hook ones. These are also sterling silver, so if you've got sensitive ears, these will accommodate for you. These would be perfect for you. These would not hurt your ears. Yeah. Um, yes, and of course we also have the big ones that I'm wearing in a uh, stud style, and then. Ah! There we go, I just dropped one. And then the big size in the hook, so nobody misses out. Anyway, I am going to leave you to watch the video and stop talking, but thank you so much for sticking around, subscribing. It means a lot to a little artist, just trying to make something out of something a little small and um, talking really fast because, you know, nervous. It's been a while, I'm a little bit rusty and I am still extremely uncomfortable in front of the camera, believe it or not. Big love. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the voiceover section of this video. Just going to briefly explain the process of making my Desert Meets the Sea earrings. As you can see, I have some Fimo soft polymer clay along with some Primo. I had the Primo brand left over from a previous batch. Now I haven't made these earrings in a long time because they are quite tedious and time consuming and I haven't got the resources here in Broome so I have to order them or when I'm in Perth that's when I, when I pick, 
pick them up. Um, as you can see, I am opening up all the packets. I've got a combination of some blue, some aqua, uh, some pin danny brown, and some red and white. So, of course, we have the red and brown for the pin dan dirt, which is a uh, very common here in the Kimberley, very beautiful rusty colored dirt that meets the sea, which is obviously a blue, white, greeny blue color, whatever you want to call it or however you want to describe it. And what I like to do is split them up and section them, place them where I kind of want them to be mixed. The fun thing about this process is you really don't have too much control. You just have to really be happy with the outcome, but yeah, it's quite beautiful this clay. so. I'm always um, pretty happy with the outcome. So as you can see, I'm twisting it all together. So my partner's just started cooking in the background. So if you hear some sizzling, it's just dinner. So don't be alarmed. And I am attempting to record this via some headphones. So it's kind of intimate and weird, but we're getting there, hey? So moving on, as you can see, I am using a rolling pin to squish the two colors together. I want it to be half and half uh, because as you know in the Kimberley the red desert sand touches and meets the sea um, yeah so rolly rolly this was actually hurt my hands um, and we long time to roll out but we got there in the end and now I'm just getting my little stencils I'm like cookie cutter things I'm not really sure what you call them actually um, but this is like the second biggest circle of the pack. And I am placing it in between the red and the blue so that I can get sort of a nice even amount of both. And there we have it. We have the first base, I guess, section of the earring. You have to be quite delicate when you're handling the clay because you can get all sorts of imprints and stuff <laughs> stuck on it. So being super delicate and um, now going in with the smaller of the cookie cutter thingamabob and I am getting my smaller half of the earring done. Excuse me, I feel like I'm fading fast. It is Sunday evening and I am knackered, but I need to get this video out for you guys because I've been sort of like a two week delay and I apologize but life has been crazy. <laughs> so thanks for sticking around for those of you who are still here and waiting for more uploads. Okay, so obviously speed this section up. And now I'm going to transition into my website where you'll be able to find these earrings um, along with my other art. So I've got a section for my original art, a section for my star sign prints, my polymer clay earrings there they are the most recent upload and then some other original prints so quite a big range here we've got some affordable art we've got my original art so you really have quite the variety and um, yeah here we are in the handmade clay earrings section there are 24 pairs total each extremely unique and different to the other so you will not get one pair the same ever <laughs> and um, once those 24 pairs are gone they're gone so make sure you get in get your pair I am offering free shipping to everyone that lives in Australia um, more than happy to post to your loved ones just in time for Christmas and um, yeah I think that's about it so thanks for stopping in watching my video supporting me you guys are the best and I really appreciate it. Have a lovely evening, day, afternoon, morning, whatever it is, <laughs> wherever you are. And bye-bye. Baby, you're like lightning in a bottle. I can't let you go now that I got you. That's a good pickle.